Another important um, maintenance with the gas detectors is the replacement of sensors. Um, calibration, bump testing, sensor replacement, these are things that you can do in the field on your own. They don't have to go back to a service center or to the manufacturer to do that regular maintenance. Uh, so simple sensor replacement is there are six screws on the back and you just wiggle the back off and then I usually just leave it this way so the screws don't fall out if you just... The next step is you're going to see the back of the PCB board and the battery um, and then there's two screws on the side of the PCB board and you want to remove those as well. Because the sensors are on the front side of the unit, it makes sense that the sensors to replace are on the front side of the PCB board. So same thing, two little screws, don't lose them. And if you just, so now you should have three main pieces of your detector. This is where your screws are most likely going to fall out, so put your hand underneath them because you're going to lose these two little PCB ones, most likely. That one kind of stuck, but... And then there's this little blue thing. This is your audible alarm. And you just it just sits in this little area between the oxygen sensor and the battery, and you just make sure that it gets back put back in there. It only fits one way. So this is your fil sensor filter screen. These are also replaceable. Again, really simple for you to replace. They just go between the sensors and the front of the unit. And then there are your four sensors. Uh, so the big round one is your oxygen sensor. Pops out just like that. Pins go in the holes. One other thing to note is the PCB board is marked with the sensor. So it'll tell you where the H2S, CO, LEL and O2 sensors go. So then just slide them back in from the side. And then you just reassemble. Just put your PCB board face down again. If you took it out, your little blue thing with the gold contacts on the bottom. Put your screws back in the hole. And the hole is actually labeled screw <laughs> on the PCB board. Just in case. Just in case. However, they are very tiny letters, so you, you know, might need a magnifying glass to see them. Tighten them down. Try not to over tighten them, tighten them, you're just going to st strip the plastic. Put your back cover back on and tighten all six screws. And that's it. That's how you replace the sensors in your MicroClip XT. Um, most of the units, as far as sensor replacement goes, are pretty much the same procedure. The sensors may look differently, but there's only one way they ever fit in can't put them in backwards or upside down or in the wrong holes. They only fit in one way on all of the detectors. Cool.